Tuscaloosa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. Local educators recently had the privilege of participating in the 7th Annual 21st Century Learning Symposium to learn how to integrate technology into our schools. And so all this week on Dateline Schools, we have the special privilege talking to one of the keynote speakers, the division principal from Alberta, Canada, George Kuros. And, and George, what was your main message to the more than 700 educators here this week? Uh, I think I think what I really want to try to get across, not just even today, but all the time, is this um, the focus on relationships and how important that is, um, especially in our world today. Uh, when we have, you know, it's really easy for get kids to get information. They get information anywhere, but why schools will always be uh, vital to what we do in our communities is, is that focus on relationships and how we connect with them. And so based on that, we have to look at what kids are doing too. And if, you know, if we show that we value some of this stuff and we are willing to jump in, um, it, it really will build stronger relationships within our schools and within our communities. And I think the the second idea that is, um, I think, really important is this idea of like embracing change and seeing it as an opportunity to do something great. And uh, I shared a lot of stories about my, my own family and my dad and how he perceived change and what he did and what he created because of that. And I think that's what, as teachers, we've got to look at all of these changes that are happening in our world as an opportunity to do something really powerful with our students. And um, and, and hopefully they are you know, up to that challenge and taking that. And we look at as our educators, we want them to be innovators, have that innovator mindset that they're you know, seeing problems that they have, finding their own solutions, developing that, but also connecting with others to, you know, work together and collaborate to create better opportunities for our kids. That's really a big paradigm shift from what we normally see in our schools around, not only in the U.S., but Canada and around the world, isn't it? Yeah, I think we've kind of like pushed away the side and say, you know what, this is school and we don't want to do this type of stuff. You know, there's school in the real world. And, we, you know, there's one thing that I actually think is really paramount to, um, what we do is that we've always talked about developing leaders for tomorrow and my belief is why aren't we developing leaders today like these kids can do this stuff and if you develop them today as leaders they're more likely to you know continue on with that legacy after this time we'll be back with more tomorrow for dayline schools i'm terry Harrington.